Hey, welcome back! I'm gonna build this today, and I know it's not a new set, but I've had it in my collection for a little while, and I'm got I want some of the parts in it, to be honest. So I'm gonna build it and then part it out. But it actually makes a really, really nice looking stage. This is the video uh, K-pop concert. So it's really, really cute. It's play on K-pop, and obviously it was supposed to go with the uh, with the app, which never worked very well, and it's now retired. But yeah. Anyway, so there are 514 pieces. The actual set itself is retired, but you can still get it in places often on a really good discount and if you can once again this is a great set for parts plus amazing minifigures that you just don't see in other themes like really really out there minifigs so let's have a look at them so they're obviously supposed to be k-pop performers so they have got absolutely spectacular outfit to outfit to almost forgot that s because i was just distracted by the fact there's a tail on this minifig and wings a tail look <laughs> it's got all the accessories it's got a tail it's got wings it's got a unicorn head so it is a pegasus it is the best pop star pegasus ever like it's i was gonna say it's a unicorn but it's not because it's got wings and i think so far i haven't seen these wings anywhere else i think they might be available in something else in a different color but i don't have them in my collection so have got the most spectacular pegasus performer and there are three there are actually three performers in here and they are all animals or i don't know are they part of the furry subculture i don't know this is cute so this one's got a pink tail it's a pink is it a raccoon is it a cat i think it's a cat a cat with a really, really lots of white hair. I was going to say a mane. So this, <laughs> this is a guitarist. I just can't get over the colours. It's like fantastical. So pink, very, very pink. Gold eye shadows. This is fantastic. And the third mini figure, purple again with, okay, with a coral, <laughs> vibrant. Oh my gosh, it's a bunny. It's a like a slightly. <laughs> I just don't even know what to say. It's it's like those, have you seen those bunny pictures of the Easter bunny of kids sitting on their laps and they're like nightmarish? That's almost, we're almost there with this bunny here. It's kind of cute, but it's also slightly, slightly creepy. These are fantastic minifigures. I mean, this is just, the whole video theme was fantastic for introducing interesting minifigs, which should have been mini dolls, but don't get me started. Okay, so we have got a stand and we've got all these printed tiles which would open up things in the app but now they're just really really cool printed tiles I don't have the saxophone I don't have this one I do have the little bath girl I don't I do have the sweary man <laughs> I assume he's swearing I don't have the foreheaded that looks like a Beatles thing I've had this one uh have this little heart bubble we'll put it on anyway because it's one of my favorites got this one quite a few times but I like it too don't know what's happening with this one uh I've got that ooh, slightly queasy man don't have this one and the tomato I love the tomato squish tomato I have the mummy. The mummy's very cute. The creepy hands. Uh, oh, space guitar. I don't have that. Okay, all right. So I have a few here that I hadn't already got. And you can fit, look at that. The wings just fit on there, like just, just, just to the micro millimeter, which I don't know if that's actually a... If that's a measurement. Anyway, all right, so we are getting started on the stage, which is the main event for this. It's a big stage that they can be placed on to perform. And even without the app, the, the just the stage itself is full of colors. I mean, look at these, <laughs> these transparent colors in here. It's like neon craziness going on on a black background or a black bottom ground. A black ground there we go we've got a table with four uh, three three silver cups we've got a little uh fenced off area and this bit with sticky up bits and we're obviously going to be holding they're going to be holding things transparent pieces are just fantastic to have in your collection like i said this is a set to part out if you don't want to keep it as a stage or if you're not even interested in building it as a set but i want to see what it looks like oh that's on an angle so it sits like a diamond at the front and the characters have all got diamonds on their outfits as well so that's part of their part of their emblem part of their logo this printed tv piece was in one of the other sets too i missed this completely this karate <laughs> karate printed piece which I haven't got either so I reckon we can put some of the printed pieces up here don't have anything we shouldn't have at the end of that bag now we're up to bag number two and we're gonna find out how this stage actually looks so we've got the middle part done and if you've seen any of them like any of these video builds before or if you've built any of them they've got the majority of them have got speakers that spin so you've got different different looks on either sides of the speakers just so you can mix it up and theme it to whatever you want it to be got an interesting I don't understand the pink block 
on a jumper stud on the side. I don't know if it's, cause that bit spins. I just don't understand what it's there for. It's just pretty. I think it's just pretty. I'm going with just pretty. And we're putting some stairs together, just some teeny stairs up to the next platform section, which this is gonna go on. I, I really like how we've got embellishments of little pointy pink trans, like trans pink pieces. That's surprisingly hard to say. Trans pink pieces. <laughs> Did okay. <laughs> it's gonna be a good day. All right, so this is the speaker that spins, the speedy speaker. Oh, so much alliterations. <laughs> it's like I'm trying to punish myself. We got diamonds on one side, so the diamond emblem and a pink speaker on the other side. So you can choose which way you wanna have face forward. That's now attached in place. And up here is a DJ deck. So we've got that printed record piece, which is really nice. Like this goes in here on an angle. I just love the angled shape of this. I need to learn how to build more on angles rather than just flat. So, so many learning things that I want to do. And building these sort of sets helps slightly if I pay attention. And I've put the wrong bits on here. That was supposed to be coral up there and pink down here. And they look really, really similar in the instructions if they're not side by side. So this is actually a decoration or a backdrop with once again those diamond emblems on it. So this clips onto the back here and you can look at that. It just makes a fantastic, fantastic display. All right, bag number three, which is basically a mirror image of what we have just done. So I'm going to speed up the building of this. I'm gonna speak really, really fast so that it's not, <laughs> not actually, so speeding it up because it is exactly what we have already built. There are a couple of different Differentiations, differentiations, which is this is one of them. So this bit up here, it's not going to have a DJ set. It's going to have actually we'll get there in a moment. So let's get these speakers together. Pink on here. Got our diamond bits on the other side. Look at that diamond bits to the front because it looks fantastic. I love that mint color. And this is what we have instead. <laughs> Cat hair in there. It's what we have instead of the DJ set. We've got a little keyboard. It'd be hilarious. It's got a, it's got a, a microphone attached to it too. It'd be really funny. We should yeah we should put. I should have put the guitarist playing the <laughs> playing the keyboard at the same time. That would be impossible, but funny <laughs> for me. I get amused very easily. Okay, this is the uh, yep. This is the mirror image of our other diamondy backdropy thing, and this clips in over here on the back. And does not look fabulous. Like the vibrant coral, the pink, the purple, the teal, the mint with black. Sorry, we're onto the back. <laughs> we're onto the next bag. But I was just so excited by the real pop. I'm just making those up now <laughs> of the color scheme because they've all got this black and then vibrant colors on it. The pop, that's my popaticity word. <laughs> all right, might want to focus instead of just making up random words. Right in the very middle is a central feature piece which has got two face choices. So we're building, doing buildable heads, which is something I'm terrible at doing by myself. So on one side is the cat, assuming that's a cat and not a bunny rabbit, but yeah, the ears aren't big enough. And on the other side, this is really interesting to build because we've got little angle pieces for the unicorn horn. So this is the unicorn and the unicorn gets, look at that. And we're building out the muzzle. That's so interesting how all this goes together to actually build out the shape look at that perfect snout and the yeah get some dj headphones as well and they're just they're just perfect you can spin it around and the ears for the cat work for the ears for the unicorn isn't that it's just amazing <laughs> i love it i'm speeding through this but it really is such a good looking build and on this coral like rounded vibrant coral back base plate. This makes a backdrop for the very central part of the down part of the stage. Doesn't it look like there's a backstage area which is just full of poppy neon colors and yet yeah, we can store the yeah store the the instruments here on the stands I suppose. There's only one microphone which is interesting. There was a gray microphone as well up there for the keyboard itself. So I mean a video was such an absurd theme filled with like whimsical, not so out there crazy characters. I'm wondering whether in two or three years time, these sets are actually going to be really sought after because they're so different from anything else that Lego puts out there. Anyway, just a thought. I wouldn't go and buy a whole heap of them up and hope that they get some resale value because that, be that would be a fool's errand. Don't do that. <laughs> buy them to build and enjoy. And then if you don't want them as part of your display anymore, pop them out and build something 
interesting out of them. Gosh, that was a little bit nuts. Okay, all right, it's time for me to go. Make sure you do all the things that I asked you to do at the end of every video. You know, subscribe, leave me a comment, let me know what you think about the set, and check back in, because there are more videos coming up really soon. So I'll see you then. Bye.